guys, this is Booligan with Airsoft Retreat, BooliganAirsoft.com and Airsoft Insider Magazine. Today I'm coming at you from my new filming studio, which I put together for a few reasons. One, the backdrop that I used before was pretty damn boring, and two, I've got a pretty badass collection of guns, so let's go ahead and show them off in my videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at a custom project of mine based on the Echo One Timberwolf um, gas blowback pistol. Now you may remember this gun from before when I had it set up as a bit of a race pistol. Now we've done something a little bit different to it. Let's go ahead and look at some of the fine touches of this thing. If you remember my uh, race gun project with this pistol, you'll see I didn't do a whole lot of changes from that. The grip is still stippled on the sides, on the front, and on the, uh, the thumb rest here. It still has the left-sided thumb rest as well as the uh, cocking handle for easy slide manipulation. It still has the GMP Doctor Type sight mounted on a silverback mount, and um, internally it still has Angel Custom parts. The big changes that I made with it, we added this little flashlight to the front. It's an NC Star LED unit, and it works really quite well. I like the thing. The only problem is sometimes when you set it down, it turns the light on. That's a bit of a pain. Um, with the slide, what we ended up doing, first off, I took out the uh, the standard stock. Um, outer barrel and I polished it first with a uh, wire wheel and then some 320 grit 400 grit 600 grit and then some mother's magnet aluminum polish gives it a nice uh, kind of satin brushed finish make sure you always do it in the same direction for the slide we already had these slots drilled out before for the race gun project and then I just drilled these out drill, drill, and then cut out the slots and then clean them up a little bit with a Dremel tool. This thing was done using all hand power tools. The paint finish is a um, Rust-Oleum, I believe it's a Rust-Oleum Antique Bronze Metallic, or Antique Brass Metallic. I'm not 100% sold on it. It's more metallic. It's got more metal flake, as you can see, than I wanted. I wanted to go with something along the lines of a burnt bronze finish. The finish is growing on me. It looks a lot like the anodized finish on the uh, WE and uh, VFC um, scars, so it's it's all right. I'm just not 100% on the uh, the paint finish. Um, let's go ahead and uh, take it for a quick uh, quick test shoot outside. You've seen how it looks. You've seen how it works and you've seen how it shoots. Now let's talk about how you can do something like this yourself. As much as this looks like it was a really complex job, it really wasn't. I did this thing entirely using hand tools. These slots were initially done by drilling two holes with a hand drill, marking it off with tape so I know where to uh, cut, and then using a Dremel cutoff wheel to cut the slots out. I cleaned it up a little bit using another Dremel bit, and then using a small sanding drum to kind of bevel this edge a little bit, all the way around. Same thing on the front. These are just drilled, drilled through using a uh, hand drill. Um, and the barrel was polished using a little bit of uh, high grit sandpaper and some Mother's Magnet aluminum polish. This thing is absolutely something that you could build on your own with not a lot of experience and for not a lot of money. And considering we're starting with a great base pistol like the Echo One Timberwolf, it's really hard to go wrong with this thing. They did a great job putting it together and makes it right for you to customize. Be sure to check out my review on this pistol as well as all of the accessory parts that I put on it on Booligan Airsoft and Airsoft Retreat. And as always, thanks for watching.